Hi, my name is Gregory Moody from Gospel-Cores.com. Welcome to another edition of Chord of the Week. This week I'm going to spend a little bit of time and go in depth uh, and talk about passion chords. I'm going to spend a little bit of time about something we had on our homepage and we're going to look at it a little closely because a lot of you probably did not understand the uh, concept. But um, a passion chord, just in general, is a chord that is played or a series of chords that are, that are played between another chord. So say for example, you're on A chord. It doesn't matter what the chord is. Say you're on this A flat chord, or any chord. It doesn't really matter what the chord is. And there's always a next chord. Now say in your particular piece of music, it goes to some other chord. So you have two chords. Like I said, it really doesn't matter what the chords are. I just happen to be going between an A flat chord and a D flat chord. Now, you are free to insert chords in between those two chords. In fact, you can insert as many chords as you want in between the two chords. And a lot of things musicians don't understand is, well, what chords can I insert in between there? And they think there are all sorts of restrictions on, oh, only certain chords can go in between. And they have a hard time figuring out what those chords are. No. Wrong. Get our chords, and we're going to show you that the chords that you can insert between any two chords, um, you actually have 12 choices. Why 12 choices? Because there are, excuse me, there are 12 tones on the keyboard. So you're free to choose any one of those tones as a tone that represents a chord in between your two chords. And you're free to choose it at random. Let me show you, let me show you. Say, we're on this chord, this A flat chord. Now while you're playing, you wanna change up your music and you wanna be different. You don't, want, don't always want to play the same thing. So that's why I'm saying, while you're playing, as you're playing, seconds before you play, you actually decide what chords you're gonna put in between. You don't have to practice. Practice is not necessary because you want to be free to decide and make that decision as you play. So really, as a minimum, all you really need to know is 12 chords. Now in our course, we give you hundreds of chords, but really to, 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 to spice up your music, as a minimum, all you really need is 12, 12 of the right chords, and our course is going to tell you what those chords are. So. Let's, let me show you by example. Here we are on this A flat chord and you're playing and you know you're going to this D flat chord or some other chord, it doesn't matter, and you need to insert a chord in between. So as you're playing this chord, you make that decision as you play. Watch. Here I am. Say, for example, I want an F chord to go in between. I just go ahead and play it. Hear that transition? A flat, F, to D flat. Now that the next time I do it, I want to play a different chord. Uh, I want to play an E. So I go A flat to D flat. Sorry. See how different that sounds? See how that, that color it adds? When you change it up? Now if I don't like that E, I can play a D. A flat to D to D flat. I can even put a C in the middle, it really doesn't matter, that's why I'm saying you decide as you play. Here I am on A flat, let's put a C in the middle. Sounds sweet. So it, it really is up to you to decide as you play. You don't need to memorize this because then you'll sound like a robot. Here we are on A flat, let's add a G flat in the middle. Ooh, it's got some, some, some real dissonance to it. Go back to our D flat. Uh, let's try A. They all match, they all fit. How about B? A flat to B to D flat. They all sound beautiful. And we tell you what these chords are in the course. So while you're playing, you're free to change it up. You can even daisy chain these chords together and play two or three in the middle. So let's play an A flat, an F, a different A flat. Ooh, to a D flat. Uh, let's play an A flat. Uh, how about an F to a D to a D flat? 
So that's how you get all these passing chords in between two chords. And here I'm going to insert five or six passing chords in between the A flat and the D flat. I'm just going to pick notes at random. And I'm just going to run down the keyboard from A flat down to D flat and just insert passing chords. A flat, G flat, F, E, D to D flat. So I can have something smooth that sounds like this. So it's really up to you. And we're going to bring that out in the course and give you passing chords that you can play in between any two chords. And like I said, all you really need is 12. But like I said, in the course, we give you a few hundred. So uh, I hope we've cleared that up for you, that the course is going to help you create and be different. And like I said, it works between any two chords. I just chose A flat and D flat. Let me choose uh, E flat. Here's an E flat chord and A flat. Let me put one of those same 12 chords in between. E flat. Sounds beautiful. Like I said, this system works. You gotta check it out. You'll be amazed at how you're playing and how colorful your music will sound from here on out. I hope that clears up uh, some of the details that you have made that, that you may have been confused about in seeing one of our video clips on our home page. But look, you are free to choose passing chords from any of the 12 tones. You know, here I am in, you know, for example, say we're in the key of, you know, uh, you're in the key of D flat, and I'm going from A flat to a D flat. There's no E. There's no E in the key of D flat, but that doesn't stop me from playing an E chord as a passing chord. A flat, E to D flat. I'm playing, you know, tones that are outside of the scale, and that what is what really adds color to your music. So, like I said, this course is going to open your eyes and show you that there are really no restrictions. And as a minimum, all you really need to know are 12 chords. And you choose those 12 chords. Like I said, we give you a, a, probably about 100, but choose the 12 that you like. Thanks a lot, and see you next week.